I have a new TV show on Newsmax TV on Saturdays at 7.30. Tune in. You'll enjoy it. Donald Trump has planned to do something about this outrageous and incredible outbreak of anti-Semitism on campuses throughout the country. Anti-Semitism always advances masked. It used to be socially acceptable until the Holocaust. All the great social clubs and men's clubs and gentlemen's clubs excluded Jews. And they had no problem with that. They were public about it. But after the Holocaust, it became unfashionable. Anti-Semitism advances masked, sometimes disguised as opposition to banks, sometimes as opposition to the financial system, and now as support for Hamas and the so-called Palestinian state. But it's still the same thing. It's still anti-Semitism. As Trump said, we spend more on higher education than any other country. And we're turning out communists, anarchists, and terrorists with our money. And that's true. And his proposal to deal with it, I think, is tremendously innovative and important. He proposes to circumvent the entire academic establishment control over credentialing. In other words, you need to go to an academic institution to get a BA or an MA or certainly a PhD or to be certified as a lawyer, to take the bar or to qualify as an accountant or as a doctor. And <clears throat> these schools that do this accreditation, this gatekeeping, really, are all fraught with anti-Semitism, wokeism, radicalism, and anti-Americanism. And our students go through it like a gauntlet because they have no choice. So Trump is going to give them a choice. He's going to establish the American Academy, which will be a, a college and graduate school funded by the government, which will offer everyone in the country who qualifies a free schooling for baccalaureate, master's, graduate degrees, or professional school. And the money will come from a tax on the endowments of the major universities. These endowments, which are running into the billions of dollars, are sitting there relatively idle, invested, and they constitute a larger source of income for most of these colleges and universities than tuition. In the tax cut of 2017, Trump got passed a tax of 1.7% on university endowments over a certain level. It passed, and it generates a flow of $50 million a year to the government. He's going to raise that probably to 10% or more, and that is going to fund this American Academy. The Academy will award degrees, um, BA, MA, and even PhDs. It'll qualify people to take the bar and to advance in the medical and other professions uh, to make sure schools accept it. He's going to require all federal agencies to accept this credentialing and all contractors with the federal government to accept it which includes a huge percentage of the economy and enough to enforce it. And the idea is this will be a college and university with no wokeism, no indoctrination, just Americanism, and uh, no anti-Semitism built into it. And we can bypass all these crazy left-wing professors, hire new ones in a new university that can function along these lines. We have several quality institutions now in America like Pepperdine and Oral Roberts, that do not succumb to this leftist indoctrination. And it's time that we had an alternative to Harvard and Yale and Princeton, Columbia, and all of the left-wing campuses in the country. And I think Trump's proposal is brilliant and important. There's one of the key aspects in it. Anyone who has amassed credits that are not used toward a degree, but could be, uh, can, can use those credits to get degrees from the American Academy. So those courses you took years ago and uh, when you were playing around with being a freshman or at a community college can now be applicable to a real degree at American University. Such a great idea.